The Second World War left Great Britain in a state of utter devastation. Throughout the Blitz, the bombs of the Nazi Luftwaffe destroyed literally millions of buildings and extinguished the lives of large numbers of Britons, both at home and on the battlefields overseas. Although everyone celebrated the ultimate Allied victory with great jubilation, in private, however, families suffered hugely from the ravages of war. Between 1939 and 1945, countless numbers of British husbands and wives had to endure lengthy separations from one another, and children spent as many as five or six years away from their homes, either in America or Canada or even far away Australia, casualties of the government evacuation scheme. By 1946, many mothers and children had experienced deep depressions, many fathers no longer recognised their sons and daughters, and in consequence, many couples had become unfaithful to one another. The British family could best be described as an institution in the deepest of crisis. In an effort to provide support for couples and families in distress during this post-war period, Enid Eichholz, a young woman then in her early thirties, approached the Family Welfare Association with a new idea. And in September 1948, Mrs. Eichholz established a tiny project, the Family Discussion Bureau, in which husbands and wives could talk to female charity workers about their troubled marriages. The uptake proved so enthusiastic that Mrs. Eichholz's tiny project soon grew into an entire institute of marital studies, supported throughout the 1950s by the increasingly influential Tavistock Clinic. During this period, Enid Eichholz separated from her long-standing husband and married the psychoanalyst Dr. Michael Barlint, one of the early supporters of the project. She also trained with the famous child psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Dr. Donald Winnicott and received tremendous support from such venerable professionals as Dr. John Bowlby. Now known by her new name, Enid Barlint, this pioneering and visionary woman assembled an impressive team of workers who integrated the best of the social welfare movement with the best of psychoanalytical practice in order to lay the foundations of a new mental health speciality known today as couple psychotherapy.